Hello, it's me, Madam K. It's me, Madam K. So, today we're going to be talking on potty training. Potty training and to put an end in bedwetting. Because I've noticed that a lot of children are bedwetting at the age of five, six, seven, even eight. Well, I'm going to tell you the secret. While, I, while I'm bringing up this topic because I am experienced, when I was in London, I worked with mentally challenged children, um, Down syndrome, children that have many disabilities, and I was in charge of them. So I tried to make sure they go to the toilet to wee or to, to, to use the toilet so that I will not be the one to clean up. So I tried my best. And then um, when I came back to Nigeria, I took care of my sister's children. I was the one that made sure they are, they are well potty trained and they don't bed wet even when they were three years old. And now I am taking care of my own children and we are doing it together. Well, um, I will start by telling you the signs to see if your child is ready for potty training. First things first, if she starts pulling her diaper, if she starts pulling her diaper without you telling her to do that, she starts pulling her diaper. That's one sign. Secondly, if you pull the diaper, the diaper is dry, but the minute you take out the diaper, she weaves. That's another sign. So by the time you see these two signs, you have to prepare yourself mentally for it. So you give yourself like two days. Make sure you take out all the diapers in the house. After taking out all the diapers in the house, you get yourself prepared mentally. So what you do, you put potty in a station place in the house. Okay, the potty has to be brightly colored, right? The potty has to be brightly colored and then... then okay, like what kind of color? The potty red anyway, okay. except black. Except black, huh? Okay. Okay, so you accept black. You, you don't use black potty. You use brightly colored potty. Um, okay. You use brightly colored potty. Okay, so when you put it in the station place, if you have a big house, you make sure you buy like four or five so that you put it around the house. Okay, so you put it in an accessible place for the child. Second day, um, you take out all the diapers and put it place white. It's good to invest in this oil white. This whole wipe is very good to clean surfaces, not especially if it's a male child because they mess everywhere up. So you use this whole wipe to clean it for sanity. Then lastly, you make sure you do it with sensitivity and compassion because kids respond to that. Okay, so during the exercise, please do well to inform every member of the child that this child is ready for potty training and you are going to put her through potty training. If she's in school, you go to her school, tell her teachers, tell everybody around that this child is on potty training so that they can help you promote your goal. Okay? Um, then, when you are doing your potty training, make sure you cash both day and night. Don't just cash day and leave night. You should be prepared for both day and night. So, you should, um, you should make sure um, the child's dress is fully kitted. Don't keep your child naked because most mothers, what they do when their child is doing potty training, they, they leave the child naked in the house so that they will not have to wash clothes. No, that child will not be mentally ready for pulling her pants when she's ready to go to the potty. So it's good to wear her, her clothes, wear her, her pants. She's fully kitted for it so that when she's going to the potty, she will know she has to pull down her pants. Okay. So, during the potty training, it's best for your child, uh, in the night, you should take your child three to four hours every time before dawn to, to use the potty. Leave the light on. Let the child sleep with you in the same room. Leave the light on. Daddy should, you know, daddy is aware. Daddy will help you. So, you should leave the light on. So, every three to four hours, you should take the child to the potty. Why do we leave the light on, Mata? Because babies are scared of the dark. Babies are scared of the dark, yes. So, secondly, what you do, you should um, let her get used to this world. When you... When you go to your potty. When you go to your potty. You should sing to her. 
account for that. She will get used to it. Then you should try as much as possible to invest the stickers. The minute you get the surprise in the pocket, give her a sticker. Dance to it. Dance to it. Celebrate her. She will know the importance of using the pocket. Invest in stickers. These are sophisticated stickers I have. I am going to um I'm going to use it when the child do wear in potty training. I use I use I invest in stickers a lot because they appreciate stickers. When you do that, after doing that, you should celebrate her a lot, okay? You should tell daddy, you know, ah can you imagine what uh, this baby did today? She used her potty successfully. Tell daddy, daddy when daddy is coming, daddy will buy ice cream for her, you know, celebrate her. Okay. Then by the time you practice this in two weeks. You will get that child. She will not bed wet, and she will not. She will always use her potty perfectly. I am trusting in that. If you if you have any suggestion, you can put on the comment section on how to help people help their children during potty training. If you have suggestion, you can put it in the comment section. Okay. Then um, children bed wet, bed wet, and my little one, this little one, does not. Because she understands what what it is to use the potty. Because when I give birth to her, right from the time I give birth to her, anytime she wiggles on a diaper, I like, oh, you wee wee on your diaper, you wee wee on your diaper. You see, that wee wee is already getting into her head. So as she grows, before after she says that, the the, the words that will come later is wee wee. It works automatically because you are singing it all the time, you know. So I believe this video. Is going to help mothers to promote potty training in their child and stop bedwetting at night. A five year old using diaper, please put a stop to that. Make sure you try to adjust to the fact that she has to go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. Martha stopped using diaper at the age of two. Isabella is not yet two. She's not using diaper. She does not bedwet. When she wants to be, she comes out. Come up from the bed and she wakes me up and say, What does she say in the night when she wakes me up? Mommy, I want to eat. Exactly. She says that. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, put in the comment section <coughs> what you want to, what you want me to talk about. <coughs> and, um, okay. Okay, so subscribe if you like the video. Thank you.